Hey guys, it's Sarah and I am here to make one of my page kits. So this one is going to be one that I had kind of a plan from the beginning as I was building these kits and it is going to be the fact that when we try to get my kids and my niece and nephews in a picture together, there's always one. <laughs> <laughs> there's always one that has to mess up the picture it doesn't matter which one it is there's always one of them and um, so I have this I have three different pictures and there's one at least some of them there's three um, in these pictures that are just messing it up and not taking a good picture so um, it's very difficult to get a good picture of my girls with their cousins so um, I have these three different pictures and I'm going to document those. So I matted them on that orange cord, cord stock. Yeah, that's a word. No, <laughs> on the orange card stock. And I'm using the wood grain as the background because they are actually on a, a dock on the beach. And then um, everything else I'm just going to cut down. So I cut down that orange po polka dot uh, to about a 10 inch square and then just cut a strip of that number paper and um, that orange paper with the plus signs on it, those that was just a scrap that I used, um, that I had grabbed and I used the whole thing, so that's nice. And I'm gonna fussy cut these flowers out, so I just, um, I'm gonna grab three different ones and I'm gonna fussy cut them out. Um, pardon my head that I just got stuck in there. I tried to get all that out, but I was messing with my iPad because I was watching SEAL Team while I was making this. <laughs> I'm really into that show right now. <laughs> kind of binge watching it. So um, it's really, really good. And okay, so I fussy cut those florals out and then I'm gonna place the pictures and just kind of figure out where I want everything to go before I start sticking stuff down, kind of getting an idea of where I want it. And I'm trying to decide if I want it all in a straight line or if I want them staggering a little bit. I'm thinking staggering, but then I realize I need to get my title done so that I know where everything's gonna fit. Now for the title, I'm using three different thickers, which I don't do very often, but I'm doing it here. Um, Cause I'm using black and I grabbed three different fonts. And uh, so each word is gonna be a different font for this. And as you can see, like those are completely, like they're not even sticking to the, to the back of the packaging anymore. Um, but I'm using three different fonts and some of them are, you know, kind of getting down to their last leg as well. And so I'm putting, there's always one. And then, um, that's going to help me kind of figure out where I want, how I want my pictures to lay. So I'm going to go ahead and get my papers down because I know my papers are good to go. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And, um, I'm going to, place my pictures and all the stuff over so that I know how far over I want that to go. And I was pretty spot on when I first put it down. So it's going to look nice. And then just going to place these. I'm going to start with the center one, I believe, and then put the other two down. And um, so for the other two, I decided I'm going to have them staggering, but I want the, uh, the top and the bottom to kind of be in the same spot. So I'm going to grab a ruler and I'm going to just line it up against the top one. And then that way the bottom one, I can be roughly in the same spot. And then I will get my title down. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, in the center after I place some of these things. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm going to um, start in the center and I'm going to work on the title and get those down. So for, you know, the bottom two words, I have to use my quick dry adhesive because they are chipboard, so they will not stick over time. Um, but then the top one is foam and that one definitely sticks. I never have an issue with the foam thickers. So there's my title. There's always one. And then I'm going to take this little piece here that I cut out from a cut apart sheet and it has caution tape on it. And then there's one part on the bottom that says extremely handsome. I don't need that right now. I'm going to keep it maybe for Riley or something, but I like the caution tape and um, I'm going to do it on the center one here. And I just really like it because, you know, it's like caution. We're trying to take a picture <laughs> and I just really like the way that it lays um, perfectly over the picture. Um, so I'm going to do that. And of course, when I put it down, it got all messed up. So I had to kind of pull it up a little bit, but 
it worked out. <laughs> um, and it doesn't cover up any of the kids' faces, which is good. So I have this really large ampersand that I cut out as well from one of my cut apart sheets. And then I'm going to just get all these florals down and then I'll start embellishing from there. And I do have um, this little Polaroid piece here that I had cut out at some point. Um, and that's gonna be where my journaling goes. I'm gonna go ahead and get that journaling done because I am gonna start putting some stuff all around. So I wanna make sure I have my journaling in place first. I'm gonna do that and then I start working on all the little pieces here. So um, this one, I'm gonna go up and down and up and down and back and forth. Do I want it up above the title? Do I want it down here next to the journaling? And I can't decide and I can't decide and up and down and up and down. <laughs> um, and eventually I decide that I'm going to put the camera up above the title and I'm gonna have the remember down here. I just really like the way that it lays perfectly across the floral and the bottom of that card there. It's just, I love the way that looks. And then uh, I'll have the camera up on top. Now these little stickers say this, that, and there, I think. And then I have these little emoji, <laughs> emoji stickers. Two of them have frowny faces. One of them is smiling. So I'm just going to do that because it's like, you know, first picture everyone's, you know, come on guys, take a nice picture and the second one, come on guys, seriously take one. And then by the end we were just laughing. So <laughs> uh, use those. I use that little blah. Um, and then the banner that, it, or the, um, not banner. What's that at the top there that I just put down? Little arrow, I guess. It says too cool for school. Um, I'm going to put this epoxy, is it epoxy? Yeah. Um, acrylic, that's the word I'm looking for, camera up above the title there. And I'm going to put these stars down as well. Um, they all have a film on them. So I have to kind of use my fingernails to get the film off because those are pretty old supplies. I think those are freckled fawn that I've had for way, way, way too long. Um, so I have to kind of work to get some of these things off as you can see. And I think I end up having to grab my scissors for this one because I just can't get it off. And then I get it. Uh, but I'm using glue dots to put these down because that's the best thing to hold them. And then I will do one down here on the bottom as well. And then um, I have a couple of little yellow stars there too. And then this little piece says smile on it. So I'm going to put that somewhere. And then this piece says... Um, something about laughing. I can't remember exactly what it, laugh a lot, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to tuck that um, down here behind this floral piece. So it kind of pokes out and then the smile I'm going to put up here and then a couple of these yellow star stickers and then the enamel dots. And then that's going to complete this layout. So I didn't use absolutely everything that I pulled. There were a couple things I didn't make it on here. They were just too big, um, but that's okay. They will go back into my stash for later. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will be back again soon with some more layouts using these page kits that I have built. And I will talk to you then. Have a great day guys. Bye.